everybody. That's what I get for messing with the camera. Thinking of rearranging my desk and moving monitors around and moving the camera around, maybe putting in a shelf. I don't. I'm always doing something. That's how I get in trouble. <laughs> Keep me off the street and out of trouble. Okay, we don't need that open. Close that. Um, one quick blast. I don't think this tells me how many people are on. Here, which one viewer? Hmm. Do, do, do. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what's going on. All right. Well, uh, since I got my house, my expansion should be done. And uh, then I'm going to do some island hopping. Um, I should possibly be getting a new resident to the island. Um, so let's get over uh, to the game and see. Um, also update this. This, yes, I can type. Let's see if they had updated online. I'm just curious if I'm doing this right. I always have to look. Mute that. Cool. Okay, as I learned today, Merry Christmas, Adam, today. Tomorrow is Merry Christmas Eve. Learn something new every day. All right, well, Tom Nook is waiting for me on the island. Let's go see what he has to offer here. Well, this is amusing. There isn't any news to report. Hmm. Okay, well, again with the camera. Don't mess with the chair. Don't mess with... Leave everything alone. Improbable. All right, well, Mr. Tom Nook, what's up? Well, they do say that no news is good news, so just enjoy another peaceful day on X's Cross. That's all for me. Bye for now. Um, hopefully the game volume is okay. If it's too quiet, too loud, let me know. If you're out there, say hello in chat. Give you a shout out. Orders from Nook Shopping are limited to five items per person each day. Didn't know that. Hey, Game Fox Twenty Four, thank you for the follow. How you doing tonight? Where are you from? How'd you find me? I'm always interested in learning. Sometimes you need more tree branches than you can find. Uh oh, missed reading something. I got mail. This is the only mail I really like anymore.
Nobody can talk to you because you're limited to followers only. I think one of my mods did that for me. Um, hang on. Do -do -do. Yeah, I'm trying to get more followers uh, to reach uh, an affiliate status uh, with Twitch. Uh, right now, I'm I'm not there. I got about 27 more to go, if uh, I remember the numbers from the last count. Because um, 50 is the magic number. I've hit all the other tiers that Twitch requires. Uh, but I haven't hit that magic number yet of uh, followers and having people online and... I'm looking at adjusting my schedule uh, to do different days out of the week and uh, go from there. So, Game Fox, how did you find me? Just out of curiosity. Oh, Paula sent me a gift. Okay, don't need the letter anymore. Just scrolling on Twitch? Cool. Wow. I didn't even know I was scrollable on Twitch, to be honest. Oh, thank you. I am probably one of the smallest channels out there. Um, I'm from central New York, uh, where it's either uh, winter and snow or road construction season. Those are the only two seasons we really get up here. Um... And uh, I really like the Twitch platform. I've met people really from all around the world. Another streamer, King Kunta, my friend Jay. Uh, he's down in New Zealand. Uh, another friend of mine, she's in the Philippines, uh, Azumi Potato. Um, and then we have the Kirkmans down in Australia. Uh, we got Kate over in England. Um, Doop Doggy Dog. I have to ask him where he's from. I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's Florida. Uh, I think it's somewhere on the East Coast. Then we got Mr. Clouds, who's uh, over in California. I can't remember if it's San Francisco or San Diego. Um, England is awful. Uh-oh. How come you think England is awful? I mean, they have what they call football what we call soccer, but... Well, they had the Spitfire in World War II, which was a cool-looking plane. Um, because I'm sat there right now. Oh! Whereabouts in England? Like London, or Wales, or... Well, Wales is Wales, not really England. Um, Warwick! Oh, okay. Cool. I have a friend of mine, every time he sees... Warwick, he, Warwick, like no, you 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 don't you don't pronounce the second W. It's Warwick, and he just can't get it. <laughs> uh, we've completed the. Exp I'm going back to the game here. We've completed the expansion of your lovely home. However, during construction, we had to place one or more ha wall hanging items in your storage. Hope you understand. Okay. Thank you, Game Fox. Um, a lot of my friends. Uh, honestly think I should have been uh, born in England. I, I'm a little bit of an Anglophile, grew up um, on uh, over here stateside uh, on PBS watching a lot of uh, whatever the BBC would send over to us. Um, you know, you know, a lot of people will jump to, oh, you watch Benny Hill. I also watch like Dave Allen at large, uh, Black Adder. Uh, obviously, Doctor Who was was big on PBS over here, so um, you know I like you know a lot of the older English actors, Cary Grant and whatnot. And um, uh, which chapter of the Black Adder do you like? I'm kind of a toss up between the first and the second. Hey, Melding girl, how are you? How are you doing tonight? Are you home from work or are you chiming in from work? 
Oh, anything after the second season, Game Fox? Really? I don't know. They they were all kind of fun. Um, but then again, you know, with uh, yep, home from work. Cool. Um, Game Fox. Uh, well, I think it ran what four seasons, or as you guys would say, four series. Um. Oh yeah, you you definitely saw improvement from from the first season to the second, third, and fourth. Um, and Rowan Atkinson, uh, you know, he's, well, can't just, you can't beat Rowan. Um, and then in, in later years, uh, I don't know how you feel about, uh, Jeremy Clarkson and the crew on, on Top Gear. Um, uh, so watched a lot of that. Uh, actually also enjoyed another, uh, English actor, Edward Woodward. Um, and he was famous over here for the Equalizer. Oh, I am trying to remember, uh, Callan was the show he, uh, was popular in. Live about 10 minutes drive from, really? Oh, so you get to see all the crazy nonsense. I watched Clarkson's Farm, uh, on Amazon, and honestly, that's what I was thinking is... What are his neighbors going through with all of this? And and on top of filming all of that for Amazon, all the COVID stuff that was going on. Um. So, <laughs> uh, no, no, I I didn't imagine many people being a, a a fan of of what's going on with with him and his farm. Um. And yeah, I mean he's brash. Uh, and that's, that's who Jeremy is. Um, and then you throw in Captain Slow and, and the hamster. Um, you know, th I think that's why they go out of the country so much. <laughs> Cause I think if they kept up their shenanigans like they did on Top Gear, um, yeah, tourism. Yep. Um, it, so there, there's a give and take to his craziness. Um, and I, I am looking forward to his next season of, uh, his farm show. Um, but yeah, I, th I think probably after next year, there will be no more grand tour. I think they're all kind of going their own ways. And I mean, hell they're in their late. F well, hamster, I think is the youngest. He's 50, two, three, somewhere in there. Uh, the other two, they're in their 60s. Uh, didn't James May just buy a bar? Um, and I thought I saw that they were going to be doing something. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do anything on his bar itself. Um, I liked his Man in Japan show that he did. Um, and he's supposed to be doing something, uh, James May in America. Um, not sure how well that's going to go over. Cause I mean, yeah, I, I know there's that cousin camaraderie between the Yanks and the Brits. Um, but, but sometimes, uh, they, they can take it a little bit too far. Do you think they'll go for a few more years? It just, I kind of got the feeling that James was just kind of tired of being on the road. Um, I, I, I drive like James May slow, uh, but also have the temper of, of, uh, Richard Hammond <laughs> with some other drivers on the road. Um, of course I, I drive an SUV, so I'm not driving like a, a, a crazy sports car for, uh, again, going to my friends telling me I was an Anglophile, um, I drove Jags for 20, almost 30 years. Uh, someone paying me to go on vacation. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I would still do it. It would just be very slow. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I, I am Captain Cautious when I'm driving 
out of town on my home roads. Yeah, get out of my way. You, you're in the wrong lane. Get out of that lane. Um, you know, because I know those roads. But if I'm out of my area, it's Captain Cautious. Let everybody pass me. Um, I'm in no hurry to get there. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, I had to go out of town for training. And I drove one of the two days that we had to be out of town. Because it was a little over an hour away and we weren't going to stay overnight. Um, so I drove one day, the other guy drove the next and yeah, on the map, it said it will take you an hour and 15 minutes to get to your location. I did it in an hour 20, but, and again, they, they did this on top gear with, uh, the Prius and I want to say a BMW and it's not what you drive. It's how you drive. Now, I kept a nice steady pace, and I got about 32 miles to the gallon. Um, and uh, my friend, he took his wife's uh, SUV. It's a little Ford Escape. So it's supposed to be one of the small economical ones. Where I averaged 32, again, steady driving, knowing we had to get there. Hey, hey it's work. You know, if I'm driving someplace for work... I take my time to get there um, because, I, you know, I want to listen to the tunes I have in the car or the radio, whatnot, uh, you know, taking the scenery. Um, he picked me up the next morning and it was pedal to the metal. Um, you know, so we we have what's called the New York State Thruway uh, running across New York State, um, across the major cities. And yeah, where it took me an hour 20, it took him uh, about an hour. And yeah, he was pushing the speed limit. Um, and he, I, I was averaging about 70 miles an hour. He was averaging a lot faster than that. And then after we got home the second night, he was complaining that, um, he got, uh, 22 miles to the gallon. Drive a Ford Kuga and get near 55 miles per gallon. What? Mm, well, these are supposed to be the small economical SUVs. I'm going to have to look up what a Ford Kuga is. In relation to an American vehicle. Mel, are you enjoying this chat? I've turned it into a car show. Um, I, I don't think my, any of my other streamer friends know that, that I, I was in my past a little bit of a car guy. Um, and I enjoyed owning my Jags, driving my Jags. Um, I had a classic 87 Series 3 uh, that was probably the most reliable the newer ones that Ford made were junk. Uh, oh, no, Game Fox. Um, uh, again, I, I think we only have a couple of viewers on. I, I invited some friends of mine to check out my chat show, and uh, they, they've they yet to accept the invitation. Um, so they're lost, uh, but I'm enjoying the chat. Uh, I, had, I had a 94 XJ6. Um, and my, my very first day driving it, um, was shooting up one of the major highways and it was the, uh, speed limit then was 55 miles an hour. Now it's 65 after some legislation went through. Um, and I wanted to see what the car would do. And I, I had my foot down to the floor and all of a sudden I see the, my driver door mirror flapping in the wind. I'm going, geez, what kind of car is this? If the, if the mirror is flapping like that. And then I look at my speedometer, I was doing <clears throat> about 130 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. Uh, which in New York state, they, um, not only could, uh, have arrested me 
Uh, they would have impounded the car, and they would have suspended my license. So, uh, yeah, it would have been a whole big mess. I got the car under control and back down to about 62 miles an hour, which is what I would normally cruise. Now, mind you, I was coming from an old vehicle that was on its last legs. So I had just passed a sheriff in a speed trap at 62 miles an hour. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a fun uh, first day adventure in the car. Uh, the next day, my sales rep called me. He goes, we can't start the car you traded in. Um, now, what convinced me to trade the car in? Well, I was always good with my maintenance, and my dad uh, had me go to a mechanic friend of his that we had used for, for decades. And he, my mechanic, uh, he came back to me, uh, with a list of about $4,000 worth of repairs. I said, that's not worth it. He goes, no, it's not. Go get yourself a new car. So drove over to the Jag dealership, knew what I wanted, didn't get what I wanted. Uh, I wanted a black car, just like the Equalizer, because uh, that's what Edward Woodward had. And uh, ended up with um, a Regency Red... The metallic paint job really sharp looking car um but an electrical nightmare um it, it got so bad that I, I knew um that mechanic who actually grew up in coventry england he he came over stateside and uh was hired by the dealership and uh yeah kind of became personal friends with him a uh, guy by the name of Phil, and uh, yeah, I was seeing him about every other week with that car. So this particular car was living up to the stigmata of, oh, you want to drive a Jag? Get two because one will always be in the shop. Um, then I graduated to, yeah, he grew up in Coventry. Um, he had family that, that worked in the Coventry, uh, Jag, uh, uh, construction plant. God, I just can't, it's the end of my day here. I mean, well, you're, you're what, four hours ahead. So it's, it's, uh, later for you over there. Um, assembly plant. That's the word I'm looking for. Wow. 1230 in the morning. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, he grew up in Coventry um, and then married an Italian uh, and then came over here, uh, worked for the, the local Jag dealership up until the point where somewhere in the early 2000s, um, they, they being Jag looked at the uh, population size of the city and said, well, your city is too small to support a Jag dealership. They pulled the dealership and I lost contact with them after that because they made them start working on Subarus and Subarus. I thought Jag had electrical nightmares. A friend of mine has a Subaru and uh, he's constantly calling AAA to get the battery jumped. Uh, the windows don't go up. The windows don't go down. Uh, the alarm doesn't go on or the alarm goes off at 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, they're they're awful on the electronics. Um, but I'll tell you, I know Ford may have rescued Jag. Um, but I'm not sure if Jag did themselves any favors because I had a 98 XJ8 and then I had a 2002 XJ8 Sport. And if it wasn't a sensor, it was something else. I, I mean, my, my dashboard was always lit up like a Christmas tree. Now... My 87 Series 3, the car that Edward drove the first three seasons of the Equalizer, I had that thing for about 10 years. 
the only thing that did it in was um, uh, the rust. Unfortunately, it got into the frame of the body. And even though it technically passed its last inspection, my mechanic said, yeah, one good pothole and that frame is going to crack and you're going to lose the car. So that went the way of the dodo bird. Um, and then I got into a Chevy Equinox, which is the SUV I spoke of. I don't have to climb down. I don't have to climb up. Um, we have uh, what's called yearly inspections. So independent shops and dealerships are licensed uh, by their respective states and uh, they are required to do yearly inspections on the cars. So it's similar to your MOTs where they'll come back to you with a laundry list of all the failures. Um, in fact, my car came, my, my 87 came from New Jersey where the Jags all came in from England from. And that owner, uh, the guy I bought it from, he tinted the windows all the way around because the 87 glass, no tint whatsoever. I mean, it was clear glass. So I understand why he tinted it. I mean, the beautiful wood on the dashboard and everything. So, uh, yes, it does depend on the state. There are some states that... Um, have have no real inspections to speak of. They just feel as long as it's roadworthy, they they let you drive it. Um, could you buy an illegal car from one and drive it into another? You could drive it, but you wouldn't be able to technically license it. So you don't have yearly inspections, Mel, in Wisconsin. I want to say Maryland, I don't think they have inspections. Um, but I know New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York definitely does uh, where I live. And um, so Game Fox, yeah, if, if you bought an illegal car um, and you wanted to license it in the state, well, it would have to go through an inspection. Um and I've stood there in the deal in the bay and watched them do the inspection. And it's like, do the brake lights work? Does the horn work? Uh, do the headlights work? Do the uh, dim dip switch work? Um, uh, and then they take a look at the brakes and the tire wear. Um, so if it fails in any of those areas, as far as safety is concerned, uh, it would be a failure. But uh, I want to say about five years ago, one of our state legislators had a law passed that if the front windows are tinted, um, it should not pass New York State inspection or what would be your MOT. And um, I think something went wrong in handling that particular process because in the past, the police would pull you over and you would get a ticket um, if, your, if your window tint was too dark, what they would call limo tint. Um, because in the past, um, police were basically gunned down because they couldn't look into the vehicle and the bad guys killed the good guys. And then they made a uh, tint to a degree illegal on the front windows. Well, now, since this new law went into place, there are people doing limo tint and that that's the real dark tint all the way around their car, including the windscreen. I don't get that. How do you drive at night looking through a windscreen that is so dark? And I don't get it. Um, but hey, you know, you want to drive like that? Just uh, please stay away from me. So Mel, did you enjoy our little uh, 
a side tour into Top Gear and, and talking cars. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Addition to your home. Please accept a gift. Okay. I don't need the letter. Cool. Uh, Nook Mileage Program. Esteemed Xavier, we wish to express our gratitude for the continued use of the Nook Stop and the Nook Mileage Program. The item you claim via our redemption service is attached. I don't remember redeeming anything. But I like presents. And it's Christmas time after all. And Mel, uh, Merry Christmas, Adam. Because as I learned from Hilly today, today is Merry Christmas, Adam, and tomorrow is Merry Christmas, Eve. But um, <laughs> need to find a, a a drum sound. Do I have it? No, but I have this. Oh, I don't know if you can hear. I can't hear it, but can you hear audience laughter? No? Okay, so the sound didn't come through. It's got to be routed differently. Okay, something new to play with to fix on my stream. Okay. Got my present. I don't need the letter. Uh, I don't need this, so we can get rid of that. But you couldn't hear... Can you hear the oh no, oh no, or no? We always keep letters from mom, so we'll close out of that. No. Okay, I have to figure out sound-wise where that goes. Might be because of the uh, capture card that it doesn't um, go through. How is the sound from the game? I mean, not that Animal Crossing is a big, loud game. Hey, where are my lights? Turn on the lights. There we go. We have a room! And I got stuff in front of the room. I have a room! I think I will put my bed in here. Let's go get the bed. We'll do a little thing, a couple of little things on, on my island, and then uh, we'll, um, uh, we'll go island hopping. Come on, bed. I want to move it. I want to pick it up. Oh, I don't want to lie down. I want to pick it up. <sighs> oh, okay. My hat. Okay. Got that. Well, clothes can go into the bedroom. Let's go into the bedroom. Got a room. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe we'll get some some nightstands. Oh, uh, let's see. Where'd my bed go. Uh, standing too close. Oh, no, cut that out, Rochester. Uh. <laughs> okay, boss. All right, so this is down. 
I haven't quite figured out. Oh, you click it to rotate. Arrow, 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 arrow. Okay. Uh, finish. Oh. oh, I didn't want to leave my room. I wanted to see how the bed was placed. Oh, we got. Oh, I wonder if they put my TV in storage. Okay, the bed is where I want it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's drop off some other stuff here. Candy hat. We'll place the item. We'll we'll wear our reindeer gear for today. That we're gonna place the item. Oh, of course, right in front of me. No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, push you over there. Okay, now. Let's see. Uh, we're going to put you in storage. We're going to... Should I keep the Santa hat or should I go with the reindeer head? Should I do the whole reindeer outfit, or should I stick with the Santa hat? Is that a yeah for Santa, or a yeah for reindeer? Reindeer. Okay. Happy holidays, everybody. All right, then the Santa hat we'll put in storage for now. Present, what did I get? Oh, that's right. I got a nook. Uh, I got a wetsuit. I want to place that in the room. In front of me, but. Get back so I can start pushing. Because I read about the uh, wetsuit, you can go swimming off your beaches. So I want to try that. But we're going to island hop first. We got other prezzies. Oh, a study chair. It, it, let's put that. We'll, we'll stick that in the corner here. So I can read books. Do, 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 do. Okay. Like it at an angle, but I'm not going to argue with a computer game. Uh, let's see. What can I put in front of this window? What's my other Prezi? Book stands. Oh! Next to my chair. Do, 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 do. Oh, they're adorable. What else I got going on? I think I shall wear my snazzy looking glasses. I'll put the sporty shades in storage. I don't need the boot. Okay, all right, so what did they... 
I think I had the TV up on that wall. All right, tell you what, we're going to put the TV up on this wall. Wait a minute. Uh, inventory. Put that in my pocket. I think I'll give my bedroom an antique wall look. Okay, so. Here. Hang on wall. Okay. Uh, here we go. Why do you do this? Okay. Now that I know how that button works, that's much easier. Okay, my carpet? I gotta move. I gotta move my carpet. I want it centered. Ah. Wrong button. That's better. Let's see my globe. Come on. Put you there. Lamp. Lamp, we need a table. We're going to put you up over there. For the mean. Okay. All right, we're heading out. Lights out. See how our money trees are doing. I cr oh, good. Okay, you know what? I want to move you back to where you were. I was afraid the addition to the house was going to mess things up. Okay, I like my tree there. And my reindeer a little bit further back. A little more, a little more. Okay, that's good. No, no, no. I went too far. That's good. Nope. Oh, nope. Good enough. Message in a bottle. Hello, palm trees. What did we get in the bottle? Open. I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master of DIY. Here's the recipe I made in my dream. Real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt, and I still did the DIY. Be careful when you YDI. That's a joke. Captain Zucker T. Crafter. What did I get? Pile of cardboard boxes. How boring can you get? Anywho... <gasps> My tomato plants are coming along in the middle of winter. Um, other flowers are okay. Oh, uh, we got... Come on, time to dig up some fossils. Can 
find another fossil. Well, time to go visit Blathers in a moment. Okay. Hang on. What do I got? Oh, I forgot to put my antique brick wall. I don't want to carry that around with me, especially if I'm going to go to another island. I want that out of my pockets. Come on. Right to the bedroom. Let's go. Hey, Mel, were you uh, on dupe? Uh, dupe stream? I don't know if he's still streaming. Oh. The light's on for this. Just putting up brick wall. That. I'll put some. Okay. Kind of cold and medieval. Alright, come on, we're heading out. Do, do. Yep. Oops. Took a nap after work. My boost shot kicked my... You know, I'm hearing that from everyone who has gotten the booster. They, they are just feeling... Really lousy afterwards. Look up a fossil. First hole I can just cleanly cover. Okay. Well, uh, if I put my shovel away, another fossil might show up. Okay. Money tree. Money, 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 money. Hello. Oh, I think it's on the other side of courtyard. Oh, hello, Paula. Gotta stop and smell the flowers. Um, it's the middle of winter, and you're sitting on the cold, cold ground. How many of you had parents tell you that, that if you sat, like, on the cement or the cold ground, you would get something called piles? Okay, give me my money. Shake that tree. Thousand. A thousand. Okay. I think I have another money tree you can run somewhere. Oh, hello. Oh, that's Tommy. What up, Tommy? Good to see you. I'm enjoying island life. Been wondering, have you noticed how delicious? Yes, I know the fruit. With all that energy, I completely busted a rock. Yes, we've been through that before. Okay. Goodbye, little guy. That's Paula's house. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where'd you go? Come back here. Oh, Blathers might get disgusted at a damselfly. Um, but now it's in distress. Okay, well. Alright, let's go check in with Tom. Oh, I don't want to... Stop that! Enter the tent. Might as well check my own island first before, um, 
Yes, you can use it for whatever you like. It's a bedroom now. Posture remodel. That's nice. I'm in no hurry. But I want to see what the nook, sh nook shop has. I'm not going to redeem the Nook Miles until I'm ready to go island hop. Just in case. I got to see what I can... No, I was gifted some floor lights. I don't know what to do with them just yet. No. Never found flamingos interesting. Especially pink one. M cap. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, dark oval glass. Eh, I like the glasses I got. That's kind of cool. Nine ball. Okay, I played nine ball. My dad taught me that. That. I don't need outdoor shorts. It's the middle of winter, people. Okay. All right, let's go see Blathers. Got your net out too there, Paula. Come on. Um, need my shovel. Big rock. Wet it from this angle. Oh no, cut that out. I think looks like clay. clay. I don't need clay. Alright, Blathers, let's check out your section. You got any other big rocks? Okay, I see one snowball. Any other snowballs kicking around? No. Okay. Let's go see Mr. Blathers. Let's go see Mr. Blathers. Good evening, Xavier. Welcome to X's Crossing Museum. How may I be of service? Oops, 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 oops. Pick the right object. I'm going to move my head over here. I need you to assess fossils. It's always all a flutter. That one. Oh, 
take a closer look. Found something that is not part yet of our esteemed collection. Hope you consider donating. You can have the lot. I don't want to put them back in my pockets. I want to make a donation. Okay, so you're taking two out of the three. I'm good. Okay. Go to Nook Miles. What happened? You've got the bug. No, that was the other day. What I get? Little phone, you you buzzed me. Okay, yes. Getting Nook Miles based on the number of fossils. Dig up as many as you can. Okay. 500 miles. Okay, did I get anything for bugs? Gave him a bug. Didn't go ick. Oh. So Huh. There was something about collecting bugs. Had a note about it? Okay, well. Okay. I'll put away the phone and let's get going. Another fox. Oh, and another one over there. Okay, wow. We're just finding fossils all over the place. This must be the place. stone so I can have a store built do, do, do. take one of those to Blathers and see if he wants a sea snail.
Oh. Mel, are you working tomorrow? I have to go in. We were reading some of our competitors' hours, and they all closed. We're going to be open till 3. Why? No doctor, there's going to be no patients. <laughs> You have the day off. Lucky. You getting together with family? Or, or are they coming over to your place? Any traditions you're going to be doing? What would I like to donate? Everything, but you keep saying no to stuff and I have to go sell it. Oh, so your place of business is open till 2. Brothers in Hawaii. Oh, that's got to be expensive. I don't know, for, for the two states that aren't connected to us, what would you say is more expensive, Alaska or Hawaii? <laughs> Dupe with a raid! Welcome, Dupe, and all the Raiders. How you doing? Dr. Freezeburn, hi there. Hi, all the Raiders. How you doing tonight? Where's everybody coming in from? Ah, uh, the Kirkmans. Australia has chimed in. How's everybody doing tonight on uh, what I have learned to be called Merry Christmas, Adam, today. That is that is what you should say to people today is Merry Christmas, Adam. Because tomorrow is Merry Christmas Eve. And if you're wondering where I got that bad joke from, uh, just take a look at the calendar behind me. And it would be the ginger one. The one we call Hilly. She's the one who tweeted it. I just repeated it. <laughs> for the new Raiders, welcome to my stream. Um, I've been doing Animal Crossing for a couple of weeks now. Um, can it be Christmas Steve tomorrow? No, apparently, um, biblically, I guess today is is Christmas Adam. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And the next day after that is Baby Jesus Day. Because it's his birthday. Because that's when the Catholics moved it to. <laughs> and it works out, because what else would we be doing in December? Shoveling snow, for those of us in the snow region. For those of you on the other side of the globe, um, Cheryl, how warm is it down there in Australia? Because it's your... Is it... You're going into your summer, right? Gonna switch back to the game here. For the new raiders who've come along, if you're still here, uh, please say hi in the chat, or if you just want to lurk, just say you're gonna lurk. Just say something. Let me know that you're there. Give me a follow. I'm trying to work to become an affiliate, um, and I'm like 27 people shy. So if you're shy and you don't want to say hi, well then just give me a follow. Then your name will appear up on the screen in a fancy graphic. 
I'll say hi to you. I'll say thank you. And uh, then I'll continue with uh, my little guy here in his reindeer outfit. Um, we're going to be going island hopping shortly. Thanks for the lurk there, Dr. Freezeburn. I appreciate it. Hey, Dupe, how you doing? I know you weren't feeling too good. You feeling any better? Mini Dupe's got to be all ex uh, excited for Christmas. Oh, you're all inside now. No, I don't want anything out of the cardboard box. Now, when you say stupidly hot, I have a rough idea of what Celsius temperatures are. And then I cheat and I go to the computer and switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius. <laughs> Let's see. It's my right now, to give you an idea, it is minus four Celsius, Cheryl, where I am. Minus four with a wind chill. And I'm pretty sure over where Melding is in Wisconsin, it's colder. Twelve eighty bells. Well, that should actually take care of half of what I just bought. Do 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 do. All right, let's go check the back side of the island. See if any other stone has showed up. And because I'm like... Eleven short. Wow, that is warm. Because, Melody, it's not so much snow in Wisconsin, is it? It's more ice and wind. Wind. More wind. <laughs> I mean, like, you put on a layer and, and you have to put on more layers to layer the layers to be warm. No new rock has grown. It, usually when we get snowstorms, it's, it's measured in feet. You get storms where it's measured in feet. Money tree. Ow. A thousand bales. What? No. Oh, I'm gonna... Yes, bury in hole. Yay. Now. Oh, I just missed my watering can.
Yeah, I was, um... Yeah, see, what we get is what's called lake effect. Um... Because of the, the Great Lakes, and then, um... Just west of where I live in New York, uh, there's a region called the Finger Lakes, because if you look at it on a map, it, it looks like fingers. Um... And beautiful wine country, beautiful beer country, um, but um, uh, it also brings us a lot of snow. I'm just carrying my watering can, I guess, until I find another stone. Give me my ladder. Yeah, that's why, honestly, um, I have a, a, a personal friend. She, she moved out uh, from Syracuse out to Vegas. And um, so <laughs> now I really do have a place to stay if I wanted to go to Vegas. Um, bummer. Okay. That's oh yes I oh I didn't want weeds but what and. I think I've kind of exhausted my island for for stone. Oh, just as I say that, there's a stone. Oh, what's that? Before it disappears. No, stop it, you silly. Is he gone? Oh, I lost it again. Ugh. One of these days I'll catch one of those creepy crawlers. I'm almost at the point if I wanted to do that. I think I'd have to have just my net and my shovel and kind of group them together so I could go back and forth. Okay, what kind of... That's just a stone, right? No, I don't want... Alright, let's try it from this angle. Not a hole. Ugh. Okay. No more stones to be had. Here's my other money tree. Oh, here's another stone. Come on. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, I 
anything, anything, anything? No. All right, let's uh, go get some Nook Miles and hop on a plane. I are out of here. I, I want to put it away. Thank you. Let me in. Do, 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 do. Nook stop. I'm good. Ready to go. Alright, let's check my inventory and my pockets. Do I need to get rid of anything? That. Add. I think we're good. Let's go travel. <laughs> Hello, Wilbur. <laughs> I want to fly. Use my Nook Miles ticket. All packed, tools all ready. Time for takeoff. Let's get airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. You copy? Got a walker who needs wings over? Roger, ready when you are. Have a good flight. Just think, what would Dodos do? Well, Dodos kind of died out there, dummy. All right, we are two down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Pretty flower? I want that pretty flower. Want to thank you. Oh, and let's see, we got a fossil. Got something. A bamboo shoot. Ooh, I can plant a bamboo tree. And you pretty flowers. Thank you. Can I take a pretty fire with me? No. <laughs> Worth a shot. And again, I dig where I shouldn't be digging. And another bamboo. Well, okay, as long as you, you're going to take up the same spot, I don't care. Okay, taking up the same spot. All right. Your stone. Okay. A 
Oh, for the love of God. Oh yeah, I'm gonna walk around. I just wanna see if I got enough. Yep, I need the iron nuggets. I don't want clay. Okay. Hello. Who are you? Bangle. How are you? I'm Bangle. Welcome to the Hyper Task Island Getaway. Oh, you did? I didn't see him. Or her. It. <laughs> Want to be a pop star in all pop stars own islands. You're Xavier from Xavier's Cross X's Crossing. Fab. Anything better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Find your inner calm and hug it as hard as you can. Lived on an island? Rough. I'd be the calmest, most relaxed tiger pop star you ever met. Want to live on my island? Awesome! Mel, how long do they take to show up? Because the one from the other night hasn't shown up yet. All better. All I've got to do is to get this train going to talk to Tom Nook. Ooh, a chic X is crossing zip code. Oh, in a few days? Okay. I shall be patient. Like with my house, because I didn't know how to redeem the Nook Miles. Thank you, the Kirkmans. I think it was Court showed me how to do that. Okay, so I got bamboo trees. the iron nugget <sighs> well thank you for remembering <laughs> calories on my own. Oh, another, another, ooh, another have. Clay, clay, dig a hole. Okay, that was an iron nugget. shoots am I going to dig up? I was hoping for... Well, we're going to have a little bamboo shoot part of the island. Do, 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 do. Anything else along here? I think we're done here. I got... Five more nuggets. I think I'm going to have to redeem more Nook Miles. Plus, let's see. 
You know, I got my microphone rotating between green and red, but the green doesn't look green on screen. I only said that because it rhymes. Oh, let's see. This. Let's see if I can go capture any bugs. They got any bugs on this island? Oh, take the tree. Any money? Any furniture? No? Okay. Yes, whack the trees with your flimsy net. Whoa, what was that? Oh, just a reflection in the water. Hey, Mr. Clouds! Thanks for the lurk. I hope all's well. So yeah, at this wonderful new job I have that I'm going to be uh, resigning next week, um, the doctor we had, uh, notice that I used the word had. Um, he quit last night, unbeknownst to me. It would be nice to let your management staff know that you are no longer going to be there. Um, but he has gone the way of the dodo bird. Uh, don't know what to tell you, folks. Okay, let's put that away. Um, I think we're done here. Let's fly. Bell bottom R and B. This is Stove Top Jackhammer. Do you require assistance? I'm ready to go home. Get this smell. Um, it was last Friday, and um, he had a patient. I don't know if you've ever had your eyes dilated for an exam. Um, the doctor dilated his eyes. This was at about 12 o'clock. Sent him back out to us to let the dilation go through. He never came back from lunch. The guy sat there for two hours with his eyes dilated, waiting for the doctor to come back. Never came back. Scheduled him for a follow-up appointment for this Monday coming up. I had to call that guy back again to say, hi, we got to cancel. The doctor's no longer here. Yeah. Um, I, I, I walked into a bit of a hornet's nest with this particular uh, task at hand and... Um, I, I'm trying to talk the, the one guy working for me if he can negotiate a salary bump um, and he can he has some stipulations that he, he wants to run up the chain of command all of which I agree with <clears throat> and uh, if he can get it great um, all I know is I'm sitting here uh, hopped up on medicine for my back which I hate taking because it just causes other problems. Um, oh, hey, you, Sheldon. Um, but this chair that I'm sitting in has a great lumbar support pillow. Let's chat. Worked up a solid sweat today. I'm going to be super sore in the morning. Well, good talking to you, kid. Let's go get some more Nook Miles. Yeah, so I found out from uh, corporate today that, yeah, he he just quit. 
No two weeks, no no notice, no nothing. Um, which New York State is a, an at-will employment state. There's nothing, nothing we can do. He's gone to another practice. Um, and yeah. Um, and uh, the guy working for me. Uh, that I hope will take over the manager position. He knows the owner of that practice personally. The guy is in semi-retirement, and when he heard where he left to go to, um, he just burst out laughing, going, uh, the, the owner, he's not going to put up with that doctor's shenanigans. He will kick him to the curb and teach him a thing or two. I mean, this guy is, the, the guy who left is not even 40 yet. Um, asked him to do some things on the computer. Oh, no, I don't touch the um, you're, you're of You're in an age group where you shouldn't be a technophobe. And your handwriting skills suck. So... Use the computer so I can read. Is that a 2, a 5, or a 7? And when he has to stand there and look at his own handwriting to figure out what it should be, that's a little scary. Um, so... It, it, to some degree, um, it's going to be a frustration on me dealing with the patients. Going, oh, what do you mean he's gone? Um... But I've already had several patient complaints of, he just hurried me through everything. Yeah, because this guy wants to make $1,000 a day, uh, be home by 3 o'clock, and, and you know, come in at, at 10 o'clock and think he can just get away with it. Well, it's going to catch up to him. Yep, I got my Nook Mile ticket. I want to fly. Let's get going. Yep. I forgot to empty out my pockets, but I think I got enough. Food. Dodo one, this is Dodo Touter. Wilbur, you copy? Got a walker who needs wings. I just love in this little symbol, the little with the wings. <laughs> All right, we are two down and docked at the Target Island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Ooh, more pretty flowers. Oh, 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 oh. Screw the flowers. Where's my... Did that take any longer? Oh. In your excitement, you're hitting the wrong button. Hi, duckers! Drake! Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Drake. I'm visiting this island today. You're Xavier from X's Crossing. I mean, not a terrible, to be honest. It's like 86 degrees Fahrenheit. How's the humidity? That's the thing. I've been to Phoenix in 114 degree heat, and it just kind of felt like a really strong hair dryer. About 114 degrees in Texas, in Dallas, with 80% humidity. I lost about 15 pounds water weight changing a tire on the George Bush Highway. Let's have some fun together while we're both here. Quacko! 
island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could stay here forever, pointing at stuff saying, that's nature. Be neat to live on an island this like this, full time, I mean. Want to come to mine? Yes, I do. Yes, it is. It's cooler than this. So if I call your Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything? Yes, he will. Today is the best day since I found out what Paschetti was. Too bad at the moment, but I'm gonna get... <laughs> really? Up to 120? Wow. How much humidity do you get, though? And, and Cheryl, are you... You're near the ocean, if I remember. You're not inland. I think inland would get less humidity. Well, nice meeting you, Drake. Come to my island, please. Oh, yeah, I got room. Let's... Oops. I want the wet ones, and I want the blue ones. You're four hours from the beach? For me, it's like a five and a half to six hour drive to New York City. Of course, again, I drive slow, I take breaks, I get up, I gotta stretch my back and go to the bathroom. Okay. I heard... Three iron nuggets. Excuse me there, Drake. Okay. What are you, little thingy you? Excuse me, Drake. You're right where I want to dig. Hundred percent humidity. Wow. Yay, I found a fossil. Down here. I have to take a break a lot because of my... Yeah, you know, so a four-hour drive. Yeah, uh, see, I'm the same way. A friend of mine, he can make New York in about four and a half hours. I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> uh, along the route, I know where the bathroom stops are. I stop, I get a coffee, I get a Danish, I get a soda, I get a snack. So, uh, again, I'm in no big hurry. I like to enjoy the drive. Churro, we had a, a someone on from England earlier. He just he likes to watch small streamers. I'm not sure if he's still on. Um, and uh, he's from England. And we were talking about Top Gear and Jeremy Clarkson and James May and uh, Richard Hammond and talking car stuff. Uh, I almost lost Mel, Mel there for a little bit. those the best oh my god the only problem is i can get them on it's getting them off i have my 30 iron nuggets what else can we find on this island need my ladder a handy dandy ladder Sorry, flowers. 
Oh, I understand. I'm not at that level yet. Um, yeah, but uh, unfortunately, the Slavic side of me um, were quite a furry people for the, the male side of the, the species. Um, <laughs> ow. <laughs> And I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> All right, we are a go. Get me home. Bell bottom fusion. This is stovetop kaleidoscope. Do you require assistance? I'm ready to go home. You ready to punt pontoons and fly soaring rows here back to X's crossing? You positive? I'm very positive. Yes. Was fuzzy in spots. <laughs> Lifting off November Oscar Whisker. Thank you, sir. Wonderful flight. Uh, something on my phone just buzzed. On my Nook phone. Gotta check my Nook phone. Nook phone. Gotta check the Nook phone. Hit rocks. Yeah. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Bells by... Done that too. I am an all sorts of shopper person. All right, Timmy, let's build us a store. Do 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 do. Hey, Timmy. Let's build that shop. Here you go. Cost me thousands in nook miles, but I have new people coming to the island. Oh my goodness, we have everything to get started on our shop. We want you to have the honor. What is the honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location. <sighs> started on the construction. Well, the tourist in me wants to put the shop near the airport. Because then once I get the other store, I will put it near the airport. Come in, visit shop near the airport. Where's the map? Okay, there I am. There's that. Okay. Um... Actually, I'm kind of hungry. All right, what kind of tree are you? What do we got going on? Here is our shop. First, I want to eat. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Up, eat. Hmm. 
Okay. Now. Yeah, because I want to have room for a sidewalk. Up along that way. Bippity boppity boo. Build here. Mm. Need to rethink it. That's a good spot. This is where the shop will go. Awesome, right in time for all the other people to show up. Awesome sauce. Now, Cheryl, when you play, do you ever uh, uh, travel into the future to get things done? Nibble, nibble, nibble. Do you like fresh cherries? Black cherries, I like. Alright. Uh, court plays it. Okay. I haven't figured that out yet. Of course, I haven't put the time in to figure it out. Oh, we gotta go see... Lathers. Let's book over to him and give him a new fossil. Do, 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 do. Hop, skip, jump. Into the museum we go. I guess I should have put my pins on closer for last night's party. What do you think? I thought they looked good where they were, but they just weren't visible on camera. So, have you been nice, or have you been naughty? That's what this Santa hat wants to know. Need you to assess the fossil! Real phone in real life. Very well, I take a moment to out. Billy added to her story. Oh, yeah, that'll probably get cut off the stream. Oh, nice with the dots. Yes, for today, have a Merry Christmas, Adam. And for tomorrow, a Merry Christmas Eve. From Hilly's tweet at 345 uh, on December 23rd. So it's her fault I've been saying that. <laughs> You're always naughty. <laughs> so does that mean court is always nice? I like his hoo-hoo in the museum. You get that little museum echo. A Dimitrodon skull. Well, if you want it, you can have it. Dimitrodon is a yours. I'm donating it. Mm. 
No, I, I got things to do. I'm a busy little reindeer. It's it's uh, Christmas Adam, almost Christmas Eve. It, you got your little uh, fossil, so enjoy. I'm good. I'm out of here. Now I wish I had brown shoes for my reindeer outfit. Oh well. Link? I saw one snowball on my eye. I wanted to build another snowman. Step behind Lather's Museum. There's two of them. Okay. All right. All right. Hey. Hey. Oh. Now how am I going to get that away from... I want to build a snow. Oh. Stupid bug. Oh, and the other ball fell apart. Well, phooey. Bump right into a tree. I would do that in real life, hit a tree. And then I would apologize to the... What I don't apologize to are Legos that I step on. My own fault. I'm the ones who play with Legos, so yeah, well, it's my fault that I stepped on them. <gasps> oh, what shit here? Fossil, or do I have... This is the most fossils I've seen. Do, 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 do. Across here and right to the front door. Almost like I planned it. Learned where it was. Yeah, I'm back. How are you? Hit the wrong joystick. I see. Okay, that means he likes it. A diplo chest. Well, want a chest or pen, uh, metal to pin it on? Uh, you can have it. I'm donating it. I don't want it in my pockets. No, I don't want a short presentation. I got things to do. Well, if those little stars keep showing up on any islands and I got a shovel that works, you're... Pops up as a fossil, and you get to assess it. Bye bye.
Do, do. Come on. The multimedia terminal. Uh, let's see. Let's take out another home loan. I need a kitchen. I got a living room. I got a bedroom. I need a kitchen. And I need a bathroom. Not necessarily in either of those orders. Yes. Yeah, hi, we were just having a conversation. I swear Tom Nook drinks. Wow! You crook! Let's do it. No, I don't want a new color to my roof. I like my blue roof. It has snow on it. Blue. I want my blue roof. I'll have a blue roof for Christmas. Yeah, um, what's the ceremony thing? I sure am. Do I get a gift? Am I going to be a marshal in a parade? What happens at the ceremony for the museum? Where are Timmy and Tommy? Are they raiding our houses? I haven't met a locksmith yet, and I don't have a set of keys. I just keep opening and closing the door. I want a security system. I don't trust you. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring X's Crossing's brand new museum. simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop. Thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, me. You keep sending me on all the mission. Timmy, Tommy, they just sit there, drink soda under around the island. What are they doing? I mean, Timmy sells stuff. Drugs. Get attacked by hornets. Drug dealer. Drug dealer Timmy. Tom Nook the Crook. Oh my god, they're they're just a band of criminals, aren't they? The floor is yours, Blathers. Residents, once again, I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. Yeah, I mean, there's how many people on the island? I'm overwhelmed, indeed, overjoyed. This could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. Well, you know, you got the mysterious construction elves that, you know, only appear when I'm offline. Uh, I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. Yeah, are the other two bringing anything, or are they just mooching off the island? I mean, Paul has given me some gifts. I don't get anything from Sheldon yet. 
Now let's have a few words from someone whose contributions made the museum possible. It's X's Crossing's own Xavier. Anything to add? We're amazing. Yay! Please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Wait! No ice cream? Well then... Hooray! Yeah, no cake! Yeah, no drinks, no champagne, no open bar, no pizza, no wings, no beer. So what's everyone having for their Christmas dinner? Doing traditional or relaxed? I made mom her breakfast this morning. And uh, it's been a tradition on our house for, for as, well, ever since I was a kid. Dad always liked having pizza on Saturday night. He would make the pizza. Chop up the sausage, you know, do the shell, and uh, spread the sauce, the cheese, the whole nine. And, um, well, Christmas is Saturday. So, after I got Mom settled in for her breakfast this morning, I said, hey, Mom, you know, um, Christmas, Saturday? Um, want to have pizza for dinner? If looks could kill, I, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Ham and cheesy potatoes. Potos. Ham cheesy potos. <laughs> well, the ceremony's done. There's my Christmas tree and my reindeer. Oh, I got stuff to plant. Let's put that away. All right, let's line up my flowers here. Plant. Oh, I already had one. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're never going to go where I want you to go. Ugh. All right, let's go up this way and then... Stop. Now wine. There. You. Okay. Weird. Air? No, I don't. That's weird. Oh, I had to dig him up. Maybe that's it. Oh, for the God.
as I just trample across my flowers. Well, we'll leave that alone. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was exciting. Um, let's go over here. And we got four of those bamboo trees. Got five. I wish I could, like, you know, do them, like, all at once. This is too much, like, real life. <laughs> eat a bamboo? Ugh, who'd want to eat bamboo? Anybody else eat bamboo? Bamboo shoot. Plant or eat? I don't think I'd want to eat a bamboo shoot. I don't know. Maybe it's something fancy somewhere, but that's... I I have a very simple palate, I guess. And bamboo shoots ain't on it. Oh, I got another plant. My red mum. Okay, let's go back over here. Those mums and flowers and stuff go over here. Aren't they adorable? Alright, let's put the shovel away. Let's go into our house and see what we got in storage. Let's decorate. Turn the lights on. No, I don't want an outdoor table. Vacuum, I get enough of that now in real life, at work, at home, in the car. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Day table. When I get the kitchen, that's where that will go. Got the bathroom sink. I got the shower. A kitchen for kids tent. Put that out. What is this thing up here? Automatic washer. I hate laundry. No, I don't have a wardrobe. I need a wardrobe. I haven't seen it for sale anywhere yet. Pot rack. I want to put that in the kitchen. That'll go in the bathroom. Those. This is so typical. Uh, um, I have more clothes than stuff. I am a clothes horse in real life. Okay, let's put that in pockets. What are you? Put that in pockets. Put that in pockets, and if Lathers doesn't want it, we're selling it. Excuse me. Little burp. No idea what I'm going to do. Stones. 
Mm, I'm going to hold on to those just in case I need to build an axe. They come by. What are you? Gizzard Shad Sushi. Save that for a cave. Spooky Floor. We'll go try that in the bedroom. I don't like it. We'll put the other floor back down. What are you? A humidifier. Put that in the bedroom. Ooh, I got an idea for the floor lights. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, floor light. No, 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 no. Okay. I want... Go. Floor light there. Awesome. And... Again, down that square. Okay. And... Other floor light. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, we were gonna check the the spoopy floor. Oh, what? I buzzing. I wish you would tell me what your you're buzzing about. Because then I have to go through each of these. I mean, unless someone knows an easier way of when the phone buzzes where to go, I don't know what else to do except to go through each of these. Wikipedia. I know to look for a flag on these, but... Wait a minute. What, what what's this? Nook miles based on the number of seashells you sell. Ow. Well, we can do a seashell night, but next week I think I'm going to be streaming uh the Pokémon what is it? Ultra I think I have on the system. Hit miles. Ford reward. Put more furniture in your house. We'll give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have. Well. Awesome. Be more awesomer if uh, you just told me to go there. Okay. Okay, what is with the camera? Capture a memory. Uh, didn't I do that with a museum? Well. For a memory right now? Oh, turn around and face the damn camera. Thank you. Yeah, I almost blinked. Oh, well. <laughs> now, let's see. We'll claim my camera memory. Catch bugs. Oh, you people and your bugs. Now what? What'd I miss? Ooh. Earning Nook Miles for earning Nook Miles. Yes, yes, you just earned Miles for finishing Nook Miles plus goals. Where will it end? I 
don't know. Where will it end? 300 nook miles. Awesome. Put it away. Okay. Let's take a look at the spoopy floor. Oh, hang on. Humidifier. Humidifier. We'll go in the corner here. Sweet. Poopy floors. Those are kind of cool, actually. Why are they calling them spooky? Actually goes with the walls I put up. I like it. We'll keep it. We out. All right, before I leave this room... What else? Nothing else for the house. Oh, let's put you in storage. For you. Stone. We'll put you in storage. Okay. Let's go see Blathers. Oh, let's... Lip. I forgot to turn off the lights. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, Paula. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I have let's go to the lobby stuck in. Yes. Assess. I'm good. I am off to see Timmy. Sell him my fossils. I don't need them taking up space in my storage place. Oh, hop already. Do, 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 do. Ooh, do. I've been up since about 3. 3 a.m. I'm a little tired. I think we're going to come up on the end of our stream here as soon as I... Till... Timberlina here, some of my stuff. You people obviously have never dealed in actual construction. Want to sell. You can have this. You can have that. And that. And... Give me many bells. I'll take it. 10,000? I'll take it. You're ripping me off for my house expansion. So I will take it. Oh, it's up there. Clean. Earn bells by selling items. Okay. 
Works for me. I think to go to sleep, though, I'm going to put on my Santa hat. I think the reindeers might uh, mess up my bed. Hey. I love the, the sound of the, the snow under the feet. That is kind of cool. Hate it in real life. But in a game, I'm kind of okay with it. Let me in! I think I need a lamp in my bedroom. I need a lamp in my bedroom. Your lamp. Yoink. Perfect. I wish I had. Okay, now. Where's my Santa hat? Move to pocket. I'm going to wear that tonight, but with my reindeer, um, what I'm now going to classify as jammies. Okay. Get the little tummy going up and down. Yep, I'm ready to wrap things up. I hope you all had a fun night tonight as we did some island hopping and met a couple of new characters. So, at last count, we should be... Three new characters coming to the island. Um, so we'll see what happens over the course of the next few days. Um, thank you, Melding Girl, for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. Um, and everyone else who is on. Um, let's see. Merry Christmas, Adam. So tomorrow is Merry Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, a safe Christmas. Um, and, uh, hope you can spend it with your loved ones and, uh, enjoy it and, um, you know, feel free to come back. I think I'm going to be, uh, changing my schedule up a little bit, probably switching to like a Monday, Wednesday type of stream, or maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday might add a day. Um, but a buddy of mine, you might've seen him in chat in previous sessions the older guys he's actually a local friend of mine and yes merry hilly holidays and um he's a local friend we went to high school together and uh we're we go to movies together and um with me streaming on tuesdays uh kind of messes up our uh uh, movie night to go out because it's their five dollar movie night um which is about all i can afford at the moment and um we looked at regular movie nights i mean we for the two of us it's it's one of those places that does dinner and everything and um uh you know we'd be spending like sixty dollars like not even on a date or anything not that we would date each other, because um, we're both into chicks and we're both guys. So, hey, that's how it works. That's how we roll. And um, they started doing this, you know, $5 movie night. 
and half off uh, certain meals and stuff. So we've been doing that. And then what do I do? I start streaming on a Tuesday night. Well, we'll, we'll change things up. So, uh, yeah, Pokemon Unite. Um, I think I will get into that. I think I'll start playing it over the weekend to get caught up. And uh, uh, from there, uh, start streaming that and, and mixing in um, the Animal Crossing along with uh, Pokemon. So that'll be cool. And um, I know Jay's been doing Pokemon. He mentioned another game on one of his streams the other day, uh, but that would mean I have to get the uh, the Xbox uh, for my PC, which I already have it loaded. I just have to do things to it and and learn how to do all that f wonderful, fun stuff. Um, so let's see. From my dad's little Eskimo behind me, or Eskimo, uh, Husky and Garfield and Pooh Bear. Um, and from me, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and have a good night, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.